Welcome to my channel collective. This portion of the channel is called From Within, Divine Feminine. Here I will be diving deep into the depths of spirituality, what it means, who we are, our practices, and so on. There's so much information and downloads that I receive on a daily basis. I've been trying to figure out how to properly deliver the information without causing any further harm to myself or humanity. I have reached a level of ascension now where I am ready to speak in the 3D realm that is. If you know, then you know. I only ask that you be patient with me for this is a lot of information to intake, but also a lot of information to put out. With that being said, let's dive in. So the topic today is who am I? Well, I am a spiritual being like most humans are. Um, everything is spiritual. Everything is about um, energy. Um, me specifically, I have tapped into a higher learning, shall I say, a higher dimension. Um it is the Christ consciousness. So I do resonate with the Christ consciousness. Um, I was bestowed many gifts from the divine. These gifts include mediumship, psychic abilities, clairvoyance, clairaudience, claircognizance, uh, claircognizance, clairsentience, tele telepathy, healing abilities, element bending, air bending, water bending, earth bending, fire bending. Um, there are many more, but uh, I don't want to get all into that. Let's just say I am a multifaceted being. I am a child of God. I am a messenger. I am a seer. I am a light being, a healer. I am an angel. I come bearing truth, um, knowledge, wisdom to help better the ascension of humanity. Um... It kind of aligns with the metaphysical, which is a reality that is beyond human perception, which is only the 5D. Um, telepathy, the spiritual realm. I do have more than six senses, telepathy being one of them. Um, it is actually one of my most powerful gifts. Um, it is how I am able to bend and shape reality. It is how I communicate to animals, trees, other souls. I'm not going to lie. When I first realized that it was actually a thing, um, it scared the shit out of me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Um, right around the time COVID started, I dove deep into a dark night of the soul. I started to search for information and and searching for that information it opened my senses up to see hear and feel things that are outside of the physical reality telepathy is a god-given gift i don't care what anybody says um one thing about being a spiritual being is that you are aware that you have a one-on-one -on -one connection with the most high gods now, I do say plural because I do, as a spiritual being, from my wisdom and my knowledge that I have received from Source themselves, Father Sky and Mother Earth. Um, they're two separate, but together, when they come together, they become one. So it is the most high God, but sometimes I, when I'm speaking to others, I kind of, you know, I put the plural just to kind of emphasize that there are two that became one as the gods began to speak to me i began to realize that there is more to life than material possessions i began to question a lot of things um i shifted my values um what i considered valuable value is so underrated 
these days, you know. Value to me, to who I am, is peace. Value is love. Value is loyalty. Value is respect. Value is an understanding that we are all connected. Um, We all may have differences. We all may have darkness inside of us. But darkness does not equivalent to evil. That's another story for another day. Um, Now, I was always awakened. To me, awakened and awareness is two separate things. To be awakened is to know thy neighbor. To be aware is to know thyself. From my experience, from the walk that I've been walking for the past three years, most of the world is awakened. I've tested the theory, and I am 100% sure that most of the world is awakened. Now, again, to be awakened is to know thy neighbor. They're aware of this, of, you know, they are awakened to who the neighbor is. You know, if the neighbor is of light, if the neighbor is of dark, this is how spirit. This is how spiritual warfare is able to be active. Now, to be aware is to know thyself. To know thyself is to know that we are all the same. We are all spiritual beings. It's what you answer to. If somebody tells you or has brainwashed you to believe that you are something of evil or something of darkness, and you choose to answer to that, then that is what you choose to be. Now, if someone like me happens to come with the message, and that message is, you are not of the evil, you are not of the darkness, you are a light being, you are my brother, you are my sister, we are connected, God is here, God hears us, God answers us, God guides us, God sends us signs, God loves us, this is the message, the message is clear, the message is loud. You are what you answer to. A person can only do to you what you allow them to do to you. Okay, well, I do get emotional when I go to diving into that. So back to who am I? I am a spiritual being. Um, I have incarnated multiple lifetimes. I have become so aware and so tapped into who I am that I can time travel all the way back to the beginning of time, to the first time that my soul first incarnated on the planet. That's another story for here or there. Um, Now, there is a difference between reincarnation and incarnation. Again, that's another title for another day. But I am a spiritual being. I do not identify with gender. I do not identify with race. I do not identify with religion. I am connected to all things, everywhere, all the time. True, I did incarnate into a female vessel this lifetime. I am aware of that, an African-American vessel. But I am far more than what meets the eye. I am limitless. I have incarnated into every bloodline, whether it is Jamaican, African, Haitian, um, American, white, um, Indian. I have been through every, um, what would I say, race, um, religion. This is why there's so much confusion as to who is God. What is the name of God? Is God black? Is God white? Is God um, Indian is God. There's so many religions. There's so many understandings because we have been here for thousands of years. And the Christ consciousness, it is immortal. It is energy. It is everywhere. It is in everyone all the time. It is in the trees. It is in the grass. It is in the ocean. It is in the animals. It is in the sky. I stand in this wholeheartedly. I stand in this fearlessly. I come with truth and understanding from God, from the divine, simply with the message. We are all connected. We are supposed to live in love, not slavery. 
To be connected is to live in love. To be bound to a race, religion, ethnicity, or gender is to be bound. It is to live in slavery. That is not what we came here to do. We came here to evolve, to grow, to create, to love, to learn, to live the human experience without causing any harm to one another. This is what has caused judgment. It's not about sexual sin or using profanity or who you praise, who do you live by what do you this is not about that this is about unity this is about how can i say um how you treat your neighbor how do you treat your neighbor how do you love do you love the picture is always bigger and i'm here to paint that picture <laughs> um I want to thank you all for tuning in to From Within Divine Feminine. Um, I look forward to sharing my knowledge and my wisdom with you all. Please hit that share, like, subscribe, drop me a comment. I will be doing lives just to kind of physically get some one-on-one, you know, with my listeners. And let's get into spirituality. I'm here for it. I am here for it. I am ready to speak. Um, This is not a negative channel. Um, I am open to hear any and everything. Um, I'm not judgmental and I don't expect anybody to judge me. Let's do this. I send you all peace, love, and light and blessings. If you want to send any donations, my cash app will be in the description box below. Um, Any donations for my upcoming book, From Within Divine Feminine. I do plan to have that published by the end of the year um, and in bookstores by the end of the year. So all donations are appreciated. I really do appreciate you all. Um, Have a blessed, 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 blessed Taco Tuesday. (laughs) It is Tuesday. Um, Yeah. Have a good loving day. In Jesus' name, amen.